Book Two, Part Two of the Iliad by Homer, translated by Alexander Pope. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Book Two, Part Two. The hardy warriors whom Boeotia bred, Penelios, Laetus, Prothoenor led. With these Arcesileus and Clonius stand, equal in arms and equal in command these head the troops that rocky aulus yields and Eteon's hills and hyria's watery fields and scenus scolus gria near the main and megalasus's ample piny plain those who in petion or elysion dwell or harma where apollo's prophet fell heion and hyle which the springs o'erflow and median lofty and ochalia low or in the meads of haliartus stray or thespia sacred to the god of day on Kistus, neptune's celebrated groves copaii and thisbe famed for silver doves for flocks erythri glysa for the vine platea green and nysa the divine and they whom thebes well-built walls enclose were mighty eutresis coronia rose and arni rich with purple harvests crowned and anthedon boeotia's utmost bound full fifty ships they send and each conveys twice sixty warriors through the foaming seas to these succeed aspledon's martial train who plough the spacious orchomenian plain two valiant brothers rule the undaunted throng eomen and ascalaphus the strong sons of astyoche the heavenly fair whose virgin charms subdued the god of war in actor's court as she retired to rest the strength of mars the blushing maid compressed their troops in thirty sable vessels sweep with equal oars the hoarse resounding deep the phocians next in forty barks repair epistrophus and scadius head the war from those rich regions where Cephisus leads his silver current through the flowery meads from panopia chrysi the divine where anomaria's stately turrets shine where pytho dolus cyparissa stood and fair lilia views the rising flood these ranged in order on the floating tide close on the left the bold boeotians side fierce ajax led the locrians squadrons on ajax the less oileus valiant son skilled to direct the flying dart aright swift in pursuit and active in the fight him as their chief the chosen troops attend which bisa thronus and rich sinos send opus caliarus and scarpi's bands and those who dwell where pleasing augee stands and where boagrius floats the lowly lands or in fair tarphi's sylvan seats reside in forty vessels cut the yielding tide eubea next her martial sons prepares and sends the brave abantes to the wars breathing revenge in arms they take their way from calsus walls and strong eritrea the estean fields for generous vines renowned the fair charistus and the styrian ground where dios from her towers o'erlooks the plain and high cerinthus views the neighbouring main down their broad shoulders falls a length of hair their hands dismiss not the long lance in air but with protended spears in fighting fields pierce the tough corslets and the brazen shields twice twenty ships transport the warlike bands which bold elephenor fierce in arms commands full fifty more from athens stem the main led by menestheus through the liquid plain athens the fair where great erechtheus swayed that owed his nurture to the blue-eyed maid but from the teeming furrow took his birth the mighty offspring of the foodful earth him pallas placed amidst her wealthy fane adored with sacrifice and oxen slain where as the years revolve her altars blaze and all the tribes resound the goddess praise no chief like thee menestheus greece could yield to martial armies in the dusty field the extended wings of battle to display or close the embodied host in firm array nestor alone 
improved by length of days for martial conduct bore an equal praise with these appear the salaminian bands whom the gigantic telamon commands in twelve black ships to troy they steer their course and with the great athenians join their force next move toward the generous argive train from high treason and Masetta's plain and fair aegina circled by the main whom strong tyrinthes lofty walls surround and epidar with viny harvests crowned and where fair asinun and hermione show their cliffs above and ample bay below these by the brave euryalus are led great xenelus and greater diomede but chief tydides bore the sovereign sway in fourscore barks they plough the watery way the proud messene arms her martial powers cleone corinth with imperial towers fair arethyria or nais fruitful plain and aegean and adrastus ancient reign and those who dwell along the sandy shore where Pallene yields her fleecy store, where Helice and Hyperesia lie, and Gonoessa's spires salute the sky. Great Agamemnon rules the numerous band, a hundred vessels in long order stand, and crowded nations wait his dread command. High on the deck the king of men appears, and his refulgent arms in triumph wears. Proud of his host, unrivalled in his reign, in silent pomp he moves along the main his brother follows and to vengeance warms the hardy spartans exercised in arms phaerus and brysaes valiant troops and those whom lacedaemon's lofty hills enclose or messes towers for silver doves renowned amycle laus agee's happy ground and those whom etilus low walls contain and helos on the margin of the main these o'er the bending ocean helen's cause in sixty ships with menelaus draws eager and loud from man to man he flies revenge and fury flaming in his eyes while vainly fond in fancy oft he hears the fair one's grief and sees her falling tears in ninety sail from pylos sandy coast nestor the sage conducts his chosen host from amphigenia's ever fruitful land where epi high and little talion stand where beauteous arene her structures shows and tyrant's walls alpheus streams enclose and dorian famed for thamyris's disgrace superior once of all the tuneful race till vain of mortals empty praise he strove to match the seed of cloud compelling jove too daring bard whose unsuccessful pride the immortal muses in their art defied the avenging muses of the light of day deprived his eyes and snatched his voice away no more his heavenly voice was heard to sing his hand no more awaked the silver string where under high selene crowned with wood the shaded tomb of old epetus stood from ripe stratia tagia's bordering towns the fenian fields and orchomenian downs where the fat herds in plenteous pasture rove and stunphilus with her surrounding grove parisia on her snowy cliffs reclined and high anispe shook with wintry wind and fair mantinea's ever-pleasing sight in sixty sail the arcadian bands unite bold agapinor glorious at their head and Sio's son the mighty squadron led their ships supplied by agamemnon's care through roaring seas the wandering warriors bear the first to battle on the appointed plain but new to all the dangers of the main those where fair elis and buprasian join whom hermione here and merciness confine and bounded there where o'er the valleys rose the olenian rock and where elysium flows beneath four chiefs a numerous army came the strength and glory of the apian name in separate squadrons these their train divide each leads ten vessels through the yielding tide one was amphimachus and thalpius one eurytus this and that teatus son diores sprung from amarinzius line and great polyzinus of force divine but those who view fair elis o'er the seas from the blessed islands of the Achinides, in forty vessels under meges move begot by phileus the beloved of jove 
to strong dulichium from his sire he fled and thence to troy his hardy warriors led ulysses followed through the watery road a chief in wisdom equal to a god with those whom cephalenius's line enclosed or till their fields along the coast opposed or where fair ithaca o'erlooks the floods where high neritos shakes his waving woods where aegilippus rugged sides are seen crocelia rocky and zacynthus green these in twelve galleys with vermilion prores beneath his conduct sought the phrygian shores thoas came next and Dremon's valiant son from pliuron's walls and chalky calydon and rough pelini and the olenian steep and chalcis beaten by the rolling deep he led the warriors from the aetolian shore for now the sons of Enus were no more the glories of the mighty race were fled Enus himself and meleager dead to thoas care now trust the martial train his forty vessels follow through the main next eighty barks the cretan king commands of gnosis lyctos and gortinus's bands and those who dwell where retion's domes arise or white lycastus glitters to the skies or where by Phaestus silver jardin runs crete's hundred cities pour forth all her sons these marched idomeneus beneath thy care and merion dreadful as the god of war tipolemus the son of hercules led nine swift vessels through the foamy seas from rhodus with everlasting sunshine bright halesius lindus and camirus white his captive mother fierce alcides bore from ephyr's walls and Cilius winding shore where mighty towns in ruins spread the plain and saw their blooming warriors early slain the hero when to manly years he grew alcides uncle old lysimnius slew for this constrained to quit his native place and shun the vengeance of the herculean race a fleet he built and with a numerous train of willing exiles wandered o'er the main where many seas and many sufferings passed on happy rhodus the chief arrived at last there in three tribes divides his native band and rules them peaceful in a foreign land increased and prospered in their new abodes by mighty jove the sire of men and gods with joy they saw the growing empire rise and showers of wealth descending from the skies three ships with nereus sought the trojan shore nereus whom ugly to caropus bore nereus in faultless shape and blooming grace the loveliest youth of all the grecian race polites only matched his early charms but few his troops and small his strength in arms next thirty galleys cleave the liquid plain of those calydnes sea-girt isles contain with them the youth of nisyrus repair cassus the strong and crapathus the fair cos where eurypylus possessed the sway till great alcides made the realms obey these antiphus and bold Phidippus bring sprung from the god by thessalus the king now muse recount pelasgic argos powers from alos atope and trecon's towers from thea's spacious vales and hella blessed with female beauty far beyond the rest full fifty ships beneath achilles care the achaeans myrmidons hellenians bear thessalians all though various in their name the same their nation and their chief the same but now inglorious stretched along the shore they hear the brazen voice of war no more no more the foe they face in dire array close in his fleet the angry leader lay since fair brisaeus from his arms was torn the noblest spoil from sacked lurnessus born then when the chief the theban walls o'erthrew and the bold sons of great evenius slew there mourned achilles plunged in depth of care but soon to rise in slaughter blood and war to these the youth of philasi succeed Aetna, famous for her fleecy breed and grassy talion decked with cheerful greens the bowers of ceres and the sylvan scenes sweet pyrrhus with blooming flowerets crowned and antron's watery dens and caverned ground these owned as chief protesilus the brave who now lay silent in the gloomy grave 
the first who boldly touched the trojan shore and dyed a phrygian lance with grecian gore there lies far distant from his native plain unfinished his proud palaces remain and his sad consort beats her breast in vain his troops in forty ships podarces led iphiclus son and brother to the dead nor he unworthy to command the host yet still they mourned their ancient leader lost the men who glophery's fair soil partake where hills encircle bibi's lowly lake where fairy hears the neighbouring waters fall or proud eolcus lifts her airy wall in ten black ships embarked for aelian's shore with bold eumelus whom alcesti bore all peleus's race alcesti far outshined the grace and glory of the beauteous kind the troops methoni or thaumatia yields olizon's rocks or melibea's fields with philoctetes sailed whose matchless art from the tough bow directs the feathered dart seven were his ships each vessel fifty row skilled in his science of the dart and bow but he lay raging on the lemnian ground a poisonous hydra gave the burning wound there groaned the chief in agonizing pain whom greece at length shall wish nor wish in vain his forces medon led from lemnos shore o ilius son whom beauteous rhene bore the echylian race in whose high towers contained where once eurytus in proud triumph reigned or where her humbler turrets trica rears or where ithome rough with rocks appears in thirty sail the sparkling waves divide which podalirius and machaon guide to these his skill their parent god imparts divine professors of the healing arts the bold ormenian and asterian bands in forty barks eurypylus commands where titan hides his hoary head in snow and where hyperia's silver fountains flow thy troops argisa polypetes leads and elion sheltered by olympus shades jertone's warriors and where orthy lies and oloosin's chalky cliffs arise sprung from pyrethous of immortal race the fruit of fair hippodamia's embrace that day when hurled from pelion's cloudy head to distant dens the shaggy centaurs fled with polypetes joined in equal sway leontius leads and forty ships obey in twenty sail the bold peribians came from cyphus gunius was their leader's name with these the enaenes joined and those who freeze where cold dodona lifts her holy trees or where the pleasing titeresus glides and into peneus rolls his easy tides yet o'er the silvery surface pure they flow the sacred stream unmixed with streams below sacred and awful from the dark abodes styx pours them forth the dreadful oath of gods last under proteus the magnesians stood proteus the swift of old tenthredon's blood who dwell where pelion crowned with piny boughs obscures the glade and nods his shaggy brows or where through flowery tempi peneus strayed the region stretched beneath his mighty shade in forty sable barks they stemmed the main such were the chiefs and such the grecian train say next o muse of all achaia breeds who bravest fought or reigned the noblest steeds eumelus mares were foremost in the chase as eagles fleet and of phyrician race bred where peurius fruitful fountains flow and trained by him who bears the silver bow fierce in the fight their nostrils breathed a flame their height their colour and their age the same o'er fields of death they whirl the rapid car and break the ranks and thunder through the war ajax in arms the first renown acquired while stern achilles in his wrath retired his was the strength that mortal might exceeds and his the unrivalled race of heavenly steeds but thetis son now shines in arms no more his troops neglected on the sandy shore in empty air their sportive javelins throw or whirl the disc or bend an idle bow unstained with blood his covered chariots stand the immortal coursers graze along the strand but the brave chiefs the inglorious life deplored and wandering o'er the camp required their lord now like a deluge covering all around the shining armies sweep along the ground swift as a flood of fire 
when storms arise floats the wild field and blazes to the skies earth groaned beneath them as when angry jove hurls down the forky lightning from above on arima when he the thunder throws and fires to Phoeus with redoubled blows where typhon pressed beneath the burning load still feels the fury of the avenging god but various iris jove's commands to bear speeds on the wings of winds through liquid air in priam's porch the trojan chiefs she found the old consulting and the youths around polites shape the monarch's son she chose who from isaites tomb observed the foes high on the mound from whence in prospect lay the fields the tents the navy and the bay in this dissembled form she hastes to bring the unwelcome message to the phrygian king cease to consult the time for action calls war horrid war approaches to your walls assembled armies oft have i beheld but ne'er till now such numbers charged a field thick as autumnal leaves or driving sand the moving squadrons blacken all the strand thou godlike hector all thy force employ assemble all the united bands of troy in just array let every leader call the foreign troops this day demands them all the voice divine the mighty chief alarms the council breaks the warriors rush to arms the gates unfolding pour forth all their train nations on nations fill the dusky plain men steeds and chariots shake the trembling ground the tumult thickens and the skies resound amidst the plain in sight of ilion stands a rising mount the work of human hands this for Marini's tomb the immortals know though called Botaia in the world below beneath their chiefs in martial order here the auxiliar troops and trojan hosts appear the godlike hector high above the rest shakes his huge spear and nods his plumy crest in throngs around his native bands repair and groves of lances glitter in the air divine aeneas brings the dardan race and Caesar's son by venus stolen embrace born in the shades of ida's secret grove a mortal mixing with the queen of love archilochus and acamas divide the warrior's toils and combat by his side who fair zelia's wealthy valleys till fast by the foot of ida's sacred hill or drink isipus of thy sable flood were led by pandarus of royal blood to whom his art apollo deigned to show graced with the presence of his shafts and bow from rich apisus and adrastia's towers high tyria's summits and pitaea's bowers from these the congregated troops obey young amphius and adrastus equal sway old merop's sons whom skilled in fates to come the sire forewarned and prophesied their doom fate urged them on the sire forewarned in vain they rushed to war and perished on the plain from practios stream procotes pasture lands and sestos and abydos neighbouring strands from great arisbas walls and Celia's coast asius hertigades conducts his host high on his car he shakes the flowing reins his fiery coursers thunder o'er the plains the fierce pelasges next in war renowned march from larissa's ever fertile ground in equal arms their brother leaders shine hippothous bold and peleus the divine next acamas and pyrus led their hosts in dread array from thracia's wintry coasts round the bleak realms where hellespontus roars and boraas beats the hoarse resounding shores with great euphemus the Siconians move sprung from trezenian zeus loved by jove pyrechmes the paeonian troops attend skilled in the fight their crooked bows to bend from axius ample bed he leads them on axius that laves the distant amidon axius that swells with all his neighbouring rills and wide around the floating region fills the paphlagonians Pelimenes rules where rich henetia breeds her savage mules where erythinus rising cliffs are seen thy groves of box cytorus ever green and where aegialus and cromna lie and lofty sesamus invades the sky and where parthenius rolled through banks of flowers reflects her bordering palaces and bowers 
here marched in arms the halizonian band whom odius and epistrophus command from those far regions where the sun refines the ripening silver in alibnian mines there mighty chromus led the mission train and augur enomus inspired in vain for stern achilles lopped his sacred head rolled down scamander with the vulgar dead forces and brave ascanius here unite the ascanian phrygians eager for the fight of those who round meonia's realms reside or whom the veils in shades of tumulus hide methsles and antiphus the charge partake born on the banks of gyges silent lake there from the fields where wild meander flows high micali and latmos shady brows and proud miletus came the Kyrian throngs with mingled clamours and with barbarous tongues amphimachus and nastes guide the train nastes the bold amphimachus the vain who tricked with gold and glittering on his car rode like a woman to the field of war fool that he was by fierce achilles slain the river swept him to the briny main there whelmed with waves the gaudy warrior lies the valiant victor seized the golden prize the forces last in fair array succeed which blameless glaucus and sarpedon lead the warlike bands that distant lycia yields where gulfy xanthus foams along the fields end of book two part two